Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here with another video to help you guys live a happy, healthy, awesome life in a wheelchair. And I am here with my friend Travis, who is a high level quadriplegic and is here to show us how he does things on his computer with, what's the thing called? It's a quad stick. It's a quad stick. Um, I'm always curious how people with different types of disabilities do things. And he was sharing with me um, how he plays video games with this quad stick and I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see. I do get a lot of requests for quad content because there's not a lot on the internet and specifically male quad content so I'm, I've am i invited friends that are quads on my channel uh, to I guess fulfill that that wish that you guys have for more stuff. So we're gonna get started with just showing you what this thing does, how Travis uses it and uh, how it makes his life easier. So we'll get started. And if you guys have any questions, just throw them in the comments and I will make sure to ask Travis or I'll tell him to watch the comments when we uh, post this video. So we'll get started. All right, so this is the quad stick. It's a, it's a, it's a mouth joystick, basically. Yeah. Um, it's got uh, these three little uh, uh, sip and puff uh, spots. Um, so. You, it's 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 just like a single sip or a yeah. single puff will provide a function, and I okay. can program thirty two different functions on this uh, joystick. So is it like a combination of sips and puffs? Yes. Oh, okay, so you have to remember those. Oh yeah, it's it's not easy. Oh my god! Yeah. So you have to be like two sips, one puff. Is this? Well, it's either a a, a sip in. On the center one, okay. or a sip out, or a sip and hold is the same thing. Oh, thing. I get it. But or um, you can do a soft sip where it's like, like slow, just, just really, really low. Yeah. And, or you can do a, um, or or it's just a regular sip. So my first question is like, when you get this thing, do you calibrate it? Like, is there a thing that like shows you what a soft sip? is kind of yeah like if you go to the uh here this is the quad stick uh, main interface here okay and then you can go to sip and puff so you can you can how much pressure you want you can you can you can adjust all that yeah. stuff right so it's oh i get it okay yeah so it's highly highly customizable to for anyone's ability or or what or what yeah, yeah. so Programmable and how many different? So you things? get up to thirty-two different uh, functions. So I could, like anything on the keyboard, any kind of mouse, any kind of, well, not not the mouse, but anything through the keyboard. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You can do thirty-two different different uh, key presses or combinations. Okay. So with this quad stick, it's got. Uh, up to 24 different um, games that you can store into it so you can have a profile for each game oh, okay so like if if you that's the maximum if you wanted another one you have to take one out yeah okay all but right you, you don't have to delete it you just have to not have it in the in the rotation oh okay that makes sense yeah. so you're not like deleting all the information for it yeah okay so to select your uh, different games um, or different game modes on the quad stick. There's a side tube here that you just do a quick sip on. Okay. You'll see the lights light up. Each one of those is a different game profile.
that's allowed. Wow. Yeah. I so are you using it just like a mouse right now? Pretty well, no. I like like I said, I got each. It, I'm using it actually as a PlayStation controller. So give me an example of like something that you were doing there that you like had to program in order to it to get it to do it here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, literally everything. Oh, so, literally everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I so turn, like were you so like if I turn to the left like yeah. with my joystick like yeah. that. That's mouse. That's like the uh, D pad or the joystick on a PlayStation controller to the left. Oh, okay. Or to the right. Okay. Or down. It's like pull back, push forward, just to go forward. Like, okay. Just, like to lean yeah, forward. Yeah. Then when I sip, that's like pressing the what would oh, like I get D it. button. Yeah. Okay. A button. That's what I was curious about. So like I I saw you moving like this, but I didn't know how you were activating the like the go. Um, so what else? Like the... Um, I can actually show you easier by just oh, yeah. opening up the profile. That is better, yeah. Tell you exactly what I'm doing. Okay. okay. Here are the bunch of different games that I have loaded. But okay. So all the settings for this particular thing are just Google Docs. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. So if I want to go left, it says left joystick left on the, on the uh, Xbox it, these, yeah. Right now, it's emulating an Xbox controller. Okay. So, but how? What are like? Where do you get these? This this comes with it. That like this oh. is all part of the. Oh. Okay. Part of the thing. So yeah, you got joystick left, joystick right, up, down, and okay. then I've also mirrored them together so that every time I do left, it's also the right joystick goes goes left as well. So I can use. Oh, the, I get the it. Because there's the right. two. I get yeah. what you mean. Yeah. So like the left joystick is for the bike and the right joystick is for the rider on the game. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like there's you can get you can get really technical on how you how you play a game or 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 if you have pretty technical needs. Yeah. The quad stick's going to be able to facilitate that. My for question you. is like the learning curve for this it's, because there's a steep. lot of people that are like this is like really confusing to me like I, I get it yeah but um I think if I were to have to try and do this by myself I would be like mm -hmm. what the actual f so the there are a lot of good videos and and whatnot through the quad stick um community oh okay to teach you how to do some a lot of yeah, this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely post to a few like um instructional videos okay so motocross what other kinds of games um, um you can do shooting games okay. this is this is my basic mouse as well right like, mm -hmm. this is how i operate my computer fully. yeah yeah okay um, um but yeah like I, like i said you can play anything 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 okay cool uh okay so where where do you get it how much does it cost um is there like any special like software other than like downloading the interface thingy that keeps all the game profiles like what's where do you get it so i got us at the it's it's uh, their website uh, quadstick.com okay and i just ordered it off a website mm -hmm. and uh the, there's a there's a few different models on there i i have the quadstick fps game controller mm -hmm. and it runs for 509 dollars but they got like a bunch of different stuff on here like even like a an adapted mouse. Yeah. Or, do they have like all the mounting stuff, or do you have to get that yourself? Yeah. No, the mounting, all this, this arm and everything. It's all part. Oh, of it. it's part of it. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's you have to pay for it. But yeah, it, yeah, but yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like your whole setup, would you say like a thousand dollars? So the mounting arm is about two fifty, and yeah, yeah, about a thousand. About a thousand. That's bucks. still not that bad, though. Like considering that there are things out there you know, for people with disabilities. Like, even just, like, a, a Baytech, if people know what that is. It's, like, yeah. 13 grand for, like, a stupid bike attachment. It's not stupid. It's awesome. But it's stupid that it costs that much money. Um, and this is arguably something that you would use way more than you would ever use some other type of, like, thing that you're going to use for yeah. recreation. Because uh, this is a computer, like, controls your computer. Uh, so, yeah, that's not that bad of a price. So I've used this probably every day all day all night for yeah. the past 
six, eight years. Yeah. And, oh, it lasts that long, too. Yeah. Like so, like, you don't have to replace it, like, every year or anything. The only thing that you run into is if you eat and you use this, you can actually get clogs. So, you, that's... So, don't eat and use it right after? Yeah. Or eat at the same time? Yeah. Uh, I guess that's, like... Probably for like a quad that's using this, they're probably not eating at the same time unless they have somebody feeding them uh, while they're like sipping puppy. Maybe there are I'm, people. I'm not saying that I do that, but I definitely do. That. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you can't step away. You're, you're needed. You're part of the team. Yeah. When me and me and the boys were playing this game called Ark, I was doing anywhere from 16 to 18 hour sessions every day. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That's when the, like, um, I've heard of people like peeing in a bottle and like putting it in their closet. That's when you like, I guess that's one nice thing about like, if you have a leg bag or something, yeah. that's like way better. You don't have to stop and pee in a bottle. You just well, my fill the bag. No, my caregiver, she, uh, she's able to feed me, calf me, whatever I need to do yeah. and I can keep doing that. Yeah. yeah. So that's like, yeah, that's one, yeah. that's one positive. Yeah. So. It's pretty reasonable in price. It's super, super useful, and it's extremely customizable. Uh, and durable. And durable. So there's really no way you can go wrong. Is there other types of these things on the market? Not that, not ones that are that I've actually been looking to try. Like I've never, I've never seen anything this robust. If uh, Quad Stick is watching and you want to give me a free one to give to somebody watching, that would be really cool. Yes. Come on, Fred. <laughs> Come on. We, <laughs> we really want to give one of these away, one yeah. of these setups. Because that would be so cool. Like, these things are really awesome. And I bet you there are some people out there that, like, even $1,000 is probably, you know, too much. I don't know what people would do, though. Is like, what, are you, what did you do before this? I used what's called... Yeah, the head mouse. Head mouse. Okay, so he used a head mouse before. Yeah, head mouse extreme. It's from Origin Instruments. Okay. So I'll, I'll link to this too, just in case uh, you want something else. So this this is like a webcam, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like a webcam, but it's actually the mouse. And oh. you end up wearing a little reflective dot. Like if you know, um, what are things that you use in school? Like for, a laser pointer? Yeah, no, no, it's like a little reflective dot that you put on, on your forehead, just a sticker. So you okay. Can put, so you can put it on your hat or your fo or your forehead, and if your caregiver wants to be funny, she can leave it on you when you go outside, <laughs> and you and you'll have people wondering what the heck's going on. Oh my god, yeah. that's so funny! And yeah. then you look in the mirror like as you're wheeling by a thing, and you're like, yeah. My dot still. Well, on. some some people still use the dot on their on the tip of their nose. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, I I couldn't tell you how many times I've gone to the casino with my friend Brad, and he wouldn't say anything because he's you know my best friend. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and I'd be playing blackjack all night. Oh my god, that's yeah. so funny! And then you get home and you're like, well, oh, my yeah. nose dot is still on. Yeah. That's very attractive. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. So, once you wear the dot. Uh, wherever you look, like wherever you move your head, it's that fast. Like if I go like that, yeah, just like that. That's it, you can set it so that your cursor is going from one end of the screen to the other, one end of the screen to the other. Oh, I get it. Yeah, so okay. it's like very, very responsive, very, very uh, quick and nimble. Like that thing. Was can you play amazing. video games with this thing? Yes. Oh, you can. Yes. Okay. It just depending on if you need the keyboard or not. Oh, so if you don't need the keyboard, you can play with this. Yeah, it's like left, left click, right click, double left click, click and hold. Uh, you can do all that stuff with the with the just sip and puff. Here. Oh, I get it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the that's the other thing we were talking about. So yeah. the sip and puff thing that he has to control his chair, um, he takes out of the controller that's controlling his chair, and then via USB sticks it to the computer, yeah. and then he can control certain things on the computer with that. Yeah. And you can combine, like, you could combine the head mouse with that to yeah. play things in the game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's, yeah, like, typing is ridiculous on on a head mouse. Like, it's so fast because you, you're so quick and just, like, with your own... Yeah, I'm, like, trying to think of, like, how that... Like, with an on-screen keyboard? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, so, like, normally it's, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could probably do that five times faster. 
with, with, with a head mouse. Really? Yeah, because it's like. Hmm. Yeah, it's. it's I would. It's really I feel neat. like it would be hard to like get to move your head in micro oh, movements. It's so easy. Like really? you, you can just slowly, or you can set it up to however you want, right? So the head mouse and sip and puff is is beyond user friendly, and it's, oh, okay. it's so so easy to use. Yeah. Yeah. I will put a link to everything that we talked about, all of the things that he shared that he has used in the past to control his computer and that he uses now. I think that's all we have to share, though. Thank you so much for yeah, doing pleasure. this. And if there is any other quad co content that you want, now that you know that Travis is a higher level quad, um, and there's questions you have, and you think there's like video ideas or something that you are struggling with if you are a quad, then please put that in the comments too or, or email me privately at empoweredpair at gmail.com. And um, I can try and put it in the queue for a later video uh, as long as Travis is willing to share that part of his life. Oh, yeah. Because... Um, yeah, it's definitely something you guys have been asking for and I will do my best to make my friends come on my channel. Sure. Um, okay, but that's it. That's all we got for you today. I will catch you back here on another video. Bye guys.